because that is a talented player indeed. Just absolutely making everything work for them. So, but enough about Grand Finals and JJ sitting in the winner's seat. Uh, we got to get into this game one here of loser semis as Ven takes on Psychod. We saw Ven absolutely dismantle Final Boss earlier. Uh, Final Boss made a very good run, made some good options here, but Ven's uh, really defensive options just uh, proved to be too great. Yeah. Nice, and he's able to tank that actual up there using Aether. Great stuff here coming up from Psychod. Nice. Ben's gonna use that uh, once again to kind of keep the player. Wow, that was a great catch. I'm sorry. He just managed to find he could land on the stage with quick drag here, but that up smash had just the last thing another box to actually hit Ike. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the thing. Uh, Zelda's got some good options for those off stage shenanigans, and Ike's recovery is a little bit linear. Granted, that quick draw is super fast, but if uh, Ven can find a way to clip it, uh, it could turn into a really, really bad time for Psychod. So let's see how Psychod's going to have to change up some of his recovery options there. But right now, Ven is doing such a good job getting these pokes, building up this damage uh, hit by hit, just little by little, and just really kind of calling Psychod's options out in general. Yeah. Let's think about Psychod too. He can definitely, like, if he gets into that close quarters range combat with, between him and Zelda, he's usually the one coming out more on top. Just because one neutral air, one dash attack, like that situation will take care of the stock and it'll put Ven at a more deficit. Well, not much of a deficit here right now, but like it'll put Ven really behind because Zelda has to do a lot to try to come back on the stage and then try to keep Ike away. Here we go, yep, gonna use some of those projectiles. Uh, doesn't matter, while well, Psychod gonna find a grab, uh, get a couple of hits in there, and now a couple up airs as well, man. Just continuing to pile on this damage, so down tilt to the forward air, then struggling a little bit, maybe able to get back on stage, no problem though, but ugh, not gonna be able to get the lightning kick. That lightning kick, if spaced properly, could have ended that stock entirely, but Psychod is just gonna continue to absolutely pester the hell out of Ven as they find a way to try to land on stage, being sent up to the blast zone. Not gonna die yet though. Yeah, Psychon, like, um, I like that. Kind of like staying a little bit kind of certain spacing here at the ledge. You're looking for an opportunity if you can catch Ben with a neutral air or a grab. That's a great Aether here, but he's able to get, uh, Ven is able to get away. And I like that too. You can see that Psychon is even running in with shield here, looking to see how Ven is going to react. Is he even going to punch him? Is that going to be a grab? No, it's going to be Ooh. an Aether. And this is the opportunity here, but Ven pushes back with the dash attack. Yeah, but I mean, Ven did a really good job putting a lot of pressure on that shield. Not that it was really close to breaking, but just when you start to see it get that low, you get a little nervous. And oh my, we're going to see Farrower's Wind saying goodbye to that second stock as Psychod is going to lose that stock and now go down 2-1 to Ven here. Ven's going to continue to get some extra credit uh, placing these knights in these forward errors. I mean, sorry, excuse me, neutral errors in the right positions just to kind of build up a little bit of extra credit. Yeah, you give them. That's the crazy thing about Zelda, right? She may not be able to snowball you as fast as like Ike would, but the fact that she can just keep you away and keep it in a position where you're probably playing too aggressive while Zelda can just continue the same game plan, it puts you at a very large deficit right before you know it. And you can see the Ven's yeah. neutral play here. You look at him, he sets up Night Hero, kind of runs in. Now that he sees that he has the space, he knows that Psychot is very far behind. But unfortunately here, once like once again, like I said, Ice gets into close quarters combat range. Dash attack will be another opportunity here to take care of the stuff. Mm -hmm. And Ben actually using these knights really, really well, despite the fact that uh, Psychot, oh, that unfortunate quick draw on stage, kind of got caught in, uh, in a tough spot there. Going to have to eat that knight no matter what. But Ven sitting at 0%, putting 104, 123. The up air actually is just going to end that game one. Wow, super good stuff from Ven. Just constant pressure and just uh, really just getting the right hits at the right time. I'm not going to lie, man. That was a blinked and missed the moment because I literally blinked and all I saw was Ike in the air and then Ike dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a great kill. It kind of blew up. Man. And it's crazy because, like, he flew up fast enough. Like, it was definitely just a definite kill. Like, there's no way he was going to be able to DI that. But we didn't see a kill screen. Kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> That's how fast it was. Good stuff to Ven, though, like I said, right? It's it's kind of like, once again, Psychot has to fight another character that that is keen to make him choose and evaluate his aerial option, right? Like, he, he wants to be able to go ahead and empty hop or just jump in general. But when you have to worry about landing and there's a knight, dense fire... Zelda herself, then that makes you evaluate your situations like, is my jump in really worth it? And was it what was it caused by? And is it better off the whole shield, right? And there are situations where we saw Psychod even go for Aether to punish Zven for, for staying within that close quarters range. Three, two, one, go! 
Go. Yeah, for sure. And uh, we're going to be getting right into this next game, though. Uh, Ven, again, played so well in that game one. Just applied so much pressure. Getting those projectile space just right. Getting those punishes uh, really going. Okay, interesting uh, option there going for the Nair. But we're going to be getting into Town and City, which we've seen Psychod just absolutely dismantle a couple Toon Links on. So we'll have to see if he can uh, find a way to bully another Zelda character here. Yeah. Good stuff from the parry there. Not going to lose that out there. Nice, solid back air. Kind of keeping here a little bit of the space range, and I like it too, because he's looking to see if he lets go of the stage, how much will then try to fight back for center of it. Wow, Psycod's patience is paying off so well right now just waiting out so many options from ven ven is definitely struggling to just kind of get onto the stage just gonna run right into the up tilt psychod playing this game beautifully right now just waiting to see what ven's gonna do and then just finding the correct option to just take away the stock and the forward air is actually gonna close it out ven what is going on man you everything was looking so good yeah, and, and I mentioned it too, like that's one thing that Psychot has been doing an excellent job. Like he's been looking at where Ven wants to land, right? Is he going to land third sword towards center stage? Fine, I can get it up there. If he's going to land towards the left or the right side, there is a forward air. So Psychot is very, very understanding of like, okay, Ven likes to fight for center stage. But that's the hard part is that you can actually get juggled effectively. Oh. See, now we see him try to go like right towards the right here, come back with flowers Ven, and then take back center stage, which is a much better game plan than the last spot that he had. Great flowers win here. Ike is still living here. This man got some weight. Yeah, and uh, earlier we saw uh, Psychot actually get a couple hits. Beautiful up air. Wow. Great spacing from Ben out of that quick draw to close out that stock. But something I want to point out is we saw Psychot get a couple hit combo there and then actually go right into an up smash. And I feel like when an Ike lands an up smash, that means they are feeling themselves. They are confident. They are ready to bring the hell. And right yeah. now Psychot is doing just that. And you know it too, right? Like you said, it's, if, if they get any smash attack, that's when they feel confident because a lot of those moves are very much high commitment, but the reward is great knockback. But always remember the cooldown of the startup, not that great, but you know I feels it when he's able to land one. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was great spacing. I love it. Okay, dude. there we go. Yep. Now we're getting some beautiful callouts from Ven. We had Psychot basically doing callout after callout for the first two stocks. And now Ven with a couple callouts of their own putting uh, Psychot onto the final stock in game two. But sitting at 102 though, we've seen it a couple times already where uh, Psychot just runs into the dash attack, just absolutely decimates the stock. Yeah. Nice, good punish with the shield there. Goes for the really good Aether at 126 here. Ven is still holding on to the lead as much as possible. Sets up the Knight to cover the ledge, forcing Psychot to pick a different option. Oh yeah, no, Ben doing a good job here, just continuing to be a problem, but the dash tag gonna close that out. Psychod got 60% on him as we're going into these final stocks here. Beautiful up tilt to an up air. Psychod sitting at 92 now, now off stage. This could be as scary as about to be in. Oh, not him to get the quick draw with the lightning kick like Ben wanted, but man, Ben is absolutely controlling the pace here as we get into the closing moments of this game too. Yeah. Ven here is sitting at 50%, uh, percent. Psychot is sitting out here at 130. Ven looking to get the punish, but Psychot gets the ground right before Ven can react here. Now he's holding on the stage. This forces Ven to go off to the far right where the Fowers went on the recovery. He gets control of center stage here, so now Psychot has to be a little bit careful here, but he lands the back hit of Nair, forcing Ven right off the stage and right back into the ledge. This is so scary too, because look at him, he's got rage. He's chasing Zen with every area, and Ven knows, I cannot come back for center stage for free. Ooh, oh god, really scary spot to be in right there. Oh Ooh. no, he just ended up teleporting right on the stage. And the nearly full range Ike is going to take advantage of that with the dash attack as he sends a bend to the blast zone to take game two. What a wild scenario in those last couple moments. Yeah, that was, like you said, man, it was a wild scenario. It was very much of how much can Ven choose to recover correctly because if you look at it right like psycho was doing an excellent job like okay like if he chooses to fight for center stage which ben kind of like gave up he's gonna reset to the ledge in which psycho can just kind of space himself appropriately and then punish ven for either going for an aerial with neutral air punish ven for landing with a roll with a neutral air or have to worry about getting hit by forward air or an air and ike with rage on top of that is already a bigger problem to deal with yeah all right man it's just it's definitely been a battle for sure um, I think we've seen Psychod do this earlier where he dropped game one to Marv. Oh, no, he actually took game one from Marvish Mark. Okay, so as I was. Um, but yeah, uh, this is definitely a tough spot to be in. 
Uh, yeah. Both these players are playing well. They're finding good options. That whole game two was basically Psychot dominating the early rounds of um, really just call out after call out, just spacing out beautiful options, just watching what Ven was going to do and just immediately hammering them with uh, Ike's super strong tilts and aerials as well. Uh, and then Ven was just starting to kind of bring it back a bit, and unfortunately, it just was not going to be enough. But wow, okay, right there, there's a little bit of a call out, knowing the quick draw was going to go on the stage, hitting it with the up tilt, and yeah, just continues to hammer Psychod with a move after move. Yeah. So far, Ven looking for an opportunity. I like that. Tries to sneak with that back guy, seeing he was able to cross up Psychod with an, with an empty hop. Good forward smash, mm -hmm. just puts Psychot off the stage here, sets up the Jinfire to kind of cover the high recovery, and this allows Ven to try to go for a grab on Psychot, sneaks in the back here as he fights back towards the stage. You can see Ven is trying to pull out all the stops here just to force out Psychot because he knows he's got the lead here. Taking care of the stock as soon as possible will put Psychon way more on the back foot, but that dash attack has been paying Psychon's bills tonight. Like, he caught Ven off so many night setups on that one that he was, I felt like Psychon put in a lot of damage, and now that it's got Ven a little bit more on the defensive, even if he got the lead, Ven is super aware of what that dash attack has done. No, you're absolutely right. That dash attack has absolutely been the calling card. The <laughs> just, to, uh, just to let Ven know, hey man, you lost your stock because of this. So yeah. I have to see. Oh, go for an up smash. Definitely a hard call out. Wow, I'm just going to eat that lightning kick because he got the Aether going. But wow, man, it's just super good stuff from both these players right now. Ven just struggling to find a way to, to just take this stock from Psychot. Psychot just living forever. The up throw actually going to be enough. 77% on Ven's first stock here. See if Psychot can find a way to even this up. He's been doing a hell of a job uh, making games even so far. Yeah. He's like, like, like you said, right? Like, he, Ven is super aware, but like, once Psychon gets the stock, he knows when he can take it forward here. That's a full up air. I'm sorry. But Ven knows, like, he was almost a touch of death away, even on uh, Pokemon Stadium, too. Great use of the Aether here in case Ven wanted to roll, but it was also a good call out as well. And that's kind of one of those things that, like, Psychon has been doing an excellent job of. He escapes a lot of situations in where Ven would normally get a true hit, like the forward air or the up air, by using Aether to tank it through and then punish him afterwards. Yeah, no, uh, wow, Ven did a lot of really good options here. We almost saw Ven die to the up air like he brought it before, but had some great DI and uh, almost took another, a whole another stock before losing the first one with that up air, but Psychod gonna be able to power through it. It's in about 99%. They can find a way to even this up. Psychod's been doing really well. We just saw another dash attack about a couple of seconds ago, so I mean, Psychod has, he knows the way to get in here. It's just a matter of just making it work and just getting it consistently. Yeah. Nice, and you see him. I like the down there, see if you can actually catch him on the recovery right before. Because that's the one thing about teleports. They don't necessarily. Oh, oh wow. They made me eat my words. <laughs> yep. Uh, I mean, it's a tough spot to be in because he. It's, it's, it's like a reaction for Ike to just kind of go right into that quick draw because it covers so much room and it's so quick. But the problem yeah. is, is that. Uh, going into it immediately off stage, Ven was ready to throw up that Din's fire to just blow up Psychod right out of the, uh, right out into the blast zone. But the problem is that if Psychod had scouted that out and just let go of it too early, he would have only gone so far and would have slowly drifted down to that ledge, which would have led to another punish from Ven. So just good stuff from Ven overall. Yeah, it's adaptation too, like knowing that what what is Psychod's most favorite recovery option, and it has been that thing. But, and like you said, right, if Ike does choose to go a little bit too low, it'll be a little bit too late. And that quick draw is honestly probably the better option rather than going for Aether at times, because also you can punish Ike for the Aether, oh! and you can punish Ike for being that far off the stage with another Din's fire to seal the deal. Yeah, man. Uh, ben was absolutely on fire with those Din fires taking the last two stocks, uh, just calling out Psychod's recovery entirely uh, back to stage. So beautiful stuff from Ven. Going up 2-1 here. Uh, definitely wants to take a shot at Mr. Brody Lee, uh, Adam, in the Losers Finals. Uh, and right now, one game away could absolutely make it happen here. Yeah, Ven has been pretty. I wouldn't. I, would, I kind of want to say like a sniper with those inspires, man. He's been catching this man and snapping his fingers each and every time when you think Psychod can make that recovery from the quick draw. Kind of forces Psychod to start evaluating like, is the quick draw the best option all the time, right? Even though he's able to come back towards the stage or is able to just come back on stage without having to go too low and worry about trying to face Zelda's trapping options at the ledge. It makes him start to wonder what, what is the better option when it comes to just coming back in general like is it always going to be quick draw in which ven can punish him accordingly or is it trying to fight himself right back against knight and he's fire when ven holds the stage itself 
Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's just a matter of just trying to get that quick draw and uh, just trying to get at the right times. The problem here is that Ven kind of has it scouted out now that if Ike's going for that quick draw, a, a nicely placed Din's fire will close out that stock. So it's going to be interesting to see how Psychod kind of moves on from here because... Uh, that's kind of your main recovery option against most characters. <laughs> yeah, especially because, like, just like Krom as well, you can catch these two characters. Oh, it's only the startup of where they get the armor, not the height of it. Mm-hmm. So, right. here with, not necessarily with a lead here, but he was holding on the stage. Now, Ven takes back center here, setting up the knight and looking to see how Psychot was going to react. Great play here. Oh, no, that was good from Psychot, too. He was able to actually hit Ven right before he had the chance to set up Din's fire or try to stop Psychot's aerial approach. Yep, and man, Psychot has been very patient all set so far. We saw him wait for that knight to be charged just to jump right over it. Oh, wow, that was a huge call out. That would have absolutely decimated that stock from Ven. Ven, fortunately, was able to get the shield and not have to worry about that too much. But man, uh, you start pulling moves like that, that fear will be in your opponent's mind as Psychot finds a way with the dash attack to close out that first time. Yeah. Like I said, right, look, look at the situation. Dude. Like he went he went for quick draw, in which he kind of had a little bit of an early release, even though like he was able to get away from Den's fire. You can see that Ven can catch that because he comes back on the stage, and it's the cooldown of quick draw that allows Ven to get those punishes. So it makes you start to wonder, he is going for Aether down below the stage probably the better play? Or should he just hold it till he grabs the ledge every time? Yeah, I mean, right now, Ven's doing a very good job using that knight. Uh, to kind of just control so much space and it's actually followed up with a nair into the night a couple times now uh, I mean, it's just it's really solid stuff, but Psychot again finding his way in dude He's been such a bully all set so far as soon as he gets in it's just hit after hit and it feels like it goes so far man This is such a tough spot, but Ven gonna get that dash tag get back on stage No problem and wow just calling out that double jump with the up air to close out that second stock Ven just one stock away from losers finals this man is literally call out after call out after call out. I mean, when we first started seeing Psychot here, right? It was him making the call outs, but now looking at looking Ben to tell Psychot, like, you know what, man? I fought the West Coast. Maybe Midwest, but West Coast is a different beast. But Psychot's still not out of it. Ben at 104. If he can get an opportunity where he gets an aerial, gets a grab, gets a neutral, like, gets that Aether missing it, though, he could find himself back in the game. Yeah, there was a couple spots there. We saw a couple forward tilts that uh, Psychod normally has been hitting and would have closed out that stock, especially with just Zelda just being as late as she is and Ike just being an absolute powerhouse. But Ven has found the way around him, getting a couple dash attacks now, just continuing to bully him as he gets the down tilt to the lightning kick to close oh out God. the final game. Moving on to Losers Finals. Ven, you absolute monster. I can't believe it. This is why I do like I'm not kidding like this this is just been in general like this is just what he does <laughs> There's a reason why he goes like he's the only Zelda on the West Coast to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with with some of the best West Coast I mean th this man has gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with foe. He's gotten victories against foe and, and foe and Ven all together like if they are known to like cause some trouble in the West Coast So I'm not surprised but man just seeing that down to the forward air when Psychot thought it was safe just blew my mind. Yeah, 